नमस्कार इन्फॉर्मेशन and content available on this platform youtube so friends if you like a video please subscribe to my channel 50% of the people who usually watch my videos are not subscribed to it and they are mostly returning viewers so if you subscribe to my channel and if you like a video then youtube will promote the video further video, youtube will also propagate this channel so more people will have access to my channel will have access to the video and you will also get some good karma because of your just liking the video or subscribing to my channel now on the topic for today i have done a few days back a video on do you have a special mars in your horoscope now there is always a flip to a certain placement even in the best of placements sometimes there can be negative tendencies and mars is the most malefic planet in the horoscope it is double the malefic energy which saturn and rahu can bring together but usually saturn is made out to be the culprit though it is not that case so because i was doing this you know do you have a special mars so i talk only about the good things that mars can give you in certain placements however mars is such a malefic planet that even in the best of placements it can still create trouble for you so just talking about the best placements of mars saying you have a special mars and not talking about some of the challenges that mars can bring to you in each of the houses in the horoscope will not be right it is my duty to tell you what should be the watch out points for you when mars is any house in any dignity in different houses in the horoscope so let's jump right into it first in any dignity however well mars is placed in the lagna mars will create some trouble for you every now and then people may see you as temperamental you may lose your cool every now and then sometimes you lose your cool fast and you also calm down fast however this is a tendency which mars can bring i'm not going to talk about the good things about mars if it's exalted in the lagna all that even if it's exalted even if it's an own sign this tendency mars will surely bring to you so you need to watch out you may get into things very fast you may not think too much before taking a decision only to regret those decisions only to think that could i take this decision back sometimes it may be too late so if you have mars in the lagna if it's more in malefic placement then it could be more damaging for you it could also bring accidents to you it could also bring unfair favorable events to you so be careful be watch out for this placement even in the best of placements mars can give you high anger temperamental issues later on in your life even blood pressure issues or those kind of things may come out so that is a watch out thing for you in any dignity if mars is in the lagna the more malefic placement it is the more damaging and that's why this is also known as one of the manglik placements for mars when it is in the first house when mars gets into the second house mars may create trouble for you at home in the family that you are born so usually when you are born with mars in the second house there may have been some event in your family around when your birth took place either when your mother conceived you and you were in a womb there may have been some accident some event some loss something may of that may happen or would have happened immediately before you hit the first birthday when you were born ask your family members if such an event happened they would tell you what happened secondly mars you may also create trouble for you at home so growing up as a child you may have created some trouble at home because of which some of your relations would have carried the negative baggage long after you have grown up also second mars can also make you a most prentry fear so you need to really watch out for your finances or to get more money to get more remuneration you may take those decisions which way later on in your career or in investments may not be the right decision for you this is not the only placements where you can go wrong because of mars not playing being placed well in terms of your investments but this is surely one of the tougher placements investment wise the remuneration wise you mars in the second house this is also placement where you may be given added responsibility almost treated as the eldest in the family either you, you are the eldest in the family or you are treated as eldest in the family or you have to step forward and take more responsibilities with mars gets into the second house especially among siblings you may take up more responsibilities of the family or the situations around you may force you to 
take up those or you may be born as the eldest in the family. If Mars is in the third house, this may create trouble with younger siblings. This may also create trouble with the neighbors. Sometime in your life, there would always be some trouble which either comes to your younger siblings, comes to your neighbors or comes through you or you get involved in that. This may also create trouble for you in terms of your communication. Even in the best of placements, in the best of placements, it will be less troublesome. In more malefic placements, it can be very damaging. So, this will create troubles for you in terms of your communication. You may be seen as somebody who is little crass, who even immediately loses their cool and blurts out and says something which probably you may regret later or you may need to take back those words or apologize or you may rub people of the wrong way. This also forces you into taking up decisions where some people I know may have quit the job too early thinking I should do my business, I don't, I can't, um, you know, work with this boss, I can't work, I can't do this 9 to 5 job, I need to do my self enterprise, my some own uh, own SHIT. So you may end up spoiling your case because of rushing into things without thinking. Mars in the 4th house is also mangling position. This is the most damaging placement for Mars. Mars cannot be more damaging in any house rather than the 4th house because 4th house also has cancer energies. Mars gets debilitated in the cancer side. So the domestic life can be really troublesome for you. Either you grew up in a household where there was fights, there were disagreements between your parents, with siblings there must have been challenges. In the family, even extended family, there must have been problems and they, they were spoken about in the home, they were discussed at home and they did in some way, in some manner affect the peace and harmony on the, in the home. So Mars in the fourth house generally affects the peace and harmony harmony of the family and it can also be damaging. The more malefic it is, it can be more damaging to the house where you end up spending more money on the house, damages to the house, every now and then sir, repairs have to be done, more money has to be spent, your vehicles may be going under some damage or um, you know making, maybe breaking down, so re requiring repairs, some bumps and uh, crashes there or it can be even serious if Mars is in very very malefic placement, especially if Mars is placed with other malefics, especially Mars and Rahu can be extremely damaging in the fourth house. Mars in the fifth house can make you a little aggressive uh, in the matters of romance. I've seen many people rush into romances. Ah, oh, this is such a beautiful chick. This is such a beautiful or a handsome dude. I want to be with this person without realizing that this is not the person for you. So you get into those romances and that romance is very short lived. Maybe for a few months, maximum it must survive a year or two. Generally, it doesn't go beyond that. Or if you if you have other very good placements and this relationship survives, but throughout your life you always get into some or the other trouble, even in your relationships. This can give you more boys, especially if Mars is well placed in your children. You may have first maybe a boy, or even you may have two boys. Generally, it gives you more boys than girls, unless you have other balancing placements with Venus and Mercury or Moon are stronger. But this may also create some trouble regarding your kids. For example, either they become troublesome, they are too naughty, they bring you some of the other issues from their school or in the neighborhood or you get into trouble with them where they don't listen to you and uh, then there is you know some bad blood between you guys which ends up that the children may also go distance or have create the distance with you. So you need to watch out where that this is concerned. Third, you may rush into investments. That share market you know that stock market uh, particular share is very good I need to invest in that or that cryptocurrency is doing very well I need to get into that so you need to be careful so that you don't rush into wrong investments fourth Mars can also be damaging where you are always on the lookout for some of the other opportunities even to change your job or in a rush of blood you may change your job you may quit your put down your papers or you, you may you may join another organization only to later on realize that this was not the one for me. So be really careful with Mars in the uh, fifth house because these three, four things which can be extremely damaging, children, romances, investment, job, career, this can be a tough. If it's placed well, it will give you very good results. Mars can be fantastic in the fifth house, but it can also be troublesome. Mars in the sixth house can, is one of the better placements for Mars. But because Mars is the Karaka of the sixth house, so it is protective for you, which means most of the fights that you get, you will come up on the upper hand. However, it will create problems for you almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually it creates troubles for you 
with your lower downs whoever in your organization is working under you sometimes even without your knowledge they are conspiring against you or they are complaining against you they don't like your temperament they think you're too arrogant they think you're too bossy they think you're too authoritative so you need to watch out for these second this may also get into small bumps small accidents on a day to day basis some bump here some crash here that can also happen so you need to watch out especially if you're driving and so usually i tell boys who have this placement try and avoid motorbikes wear helmet if you have to drive a motorbike but be little careful mars in the 7th house is also a mangalic position just like the first house 4th house mars but this can be second most damaging after mars in the 4th house the reason being is mars is opposite to its best placement which is in its own sign in aries in the lagna in the kal purush kundi so when it goes in the house opposite to its best placement it is most um, strong placement then obviously it becomes opposite energies to what it is carrying in the lagna so and this seventh house is the house of relationships libra where you need to be more sociable however mars becomes the creative trouble creator here and usually with one partnership with one union you will have almost like lifelong problems if you have mars in bad dignity in the 7th house try as you may however cool headed you may be however patient seeking you may be however you know like a uh, uh, monk you may be in your house it will still create trouble for you if you are not the one creating trouble your spouse may create trouble for you because this is bound to happen but poor woman poor man may also not be completely responsible mars is playing havoc so you need to be careful if mars is in the 7th house even in the best dignity even in an exaltation it will create trouble for you it will create issues for you in your partnerships in your union and with somebody at least one interaction almost per day either with your spouse or with your partner or your colleagues at work these are not your subordinates which the 6th house will present these are the colleagues who are on par with you partner is on par with you partner is not somebody is working under you so be careful especially with your colleagues you don't get into the bad books because later on it could be troublesome troublesome for you mars in the 8th house is slightly better because 8th house has scorpio energies so this is a placement where in certain careers in certain job this can be excellent for example people who are working in morgues who cut up bodies or a surgeon who needs to cut up you know um the stomach or head or whatever to to cure people or a researcher or a deep diver into the ocean or somebody who wants to take out the challenges in your what you're hiding in your books account a spy or sleuth who has to extract information a policeman an investigative journalist those kinds of uh, profession or somebody who works in the mines who extracts things from below the ground anything research investigative cutting up incisiveness manufacturing this can be good however so i'm not going to talk too much about the good things here in spite of the best placement of mars 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 here can be very damaging where it gives you sudden blow it can be an accident it can be horrific accident also or suddenly without realizing it is like the whole sky has fallen on your head those kinds of troubles mars creates here at least once in a while in spite of the best placements it is in the eighth house so you need to be really careful with mars in the 8th house this can be most damaging where it suddenly brings challenges issues big accidents this is not a small thing big accidents fire accidents big fractures uh, or sudden you get to know that there is a serious ailment those kinds of thing god forbid this happens to anyone but this this is the kind of placement it can bring to you so you need to be really careful especially mars in the 8th house you need to be very very careful of your health your driving practices not riding a bike at all or always using a helmet driving very carefully very slowly i have known people with mars in the 8th house where they were standing at an intersection they were not even driving somebody came and hit them and this has happened to them two or three times where even when they are driving somebody came and hit them or they were standing at the intersection somebody hits them or um, there is they are in the earthquake zone they change the house from there they go to another place they buy another property and the first day there is a fire incident there all these troubles mars can make if it's more malefic with less malefic less trouble but one trouble every now and then mars in the 8th house will give you in the 9th house mars can make you suddenly get into uh, educational um, you know area so choose those education qualification where we, later on you may regret why did i take this up so you may be following the herd here your friends took something 
your colleagues in college took something they felt no this is the right thing to do you went with the herd mentality only to realize this may not have been uh, the one for you secondly this may give you trouble in long term a long uh, a long distance uh, travel or planning you may try to do something last moment you know you don't have enough papers you're not ready or your plane uh, is not taking off because of whether something or the other you get into it you don't plan well and the last moment you need to share your plans or there is some disaster there is some breakdown and that cannot happen this can also give you trouble with your gurus with your father also sometimes so you need to do a little watch out at least one teacher one guru or even your father you may have issues every now and then which you know that this was not the best of period so be careful that uh, you don't get into educational qualifications or try to get into universities which you may regret later or not to have trouble with your gurus or plan your journeys long distance journeys better mars in the 10th house is the best placement for mars but can also be damaging a few days back when i was talking about the excellent mars that i have people said you are so happy about you, your mars of course i am happy but <laughs> it's not that mars has been less damaging for me so because i was talking about all the good things about the mars i didn't want to uh, you know color it with anything my mars has been equally damaging though i have a ruchak mahapurush yoga which means i am a warrior at work but it is also balanced with jupiter aspecting it through dharm karma adhipati yoga so i should be very patient calm cool uh, you know professional and i was but in spite of that i get, got into trouble with my bosses so many times that i got fed up and eventually about 7 years back i resigned because it was i was bringing work home it was damaging the environment at home mars aspect the fourth house i said mars in the fourth house can be very very damaging mars in the 10th house is slightly less damaging but it is aspecting uh, the the fourth house so i was very very hard working brought work home and created trouble or trouble was created because of me bringing work home and getting in trouble with my supervisors not putting up with the b u l l s h i t and saying this is not what i will accept so but i did very well i did extremely well in my career because of my aggression because of my killer instinct because of my goal getting i reached to the pinnacles of my career and when i couldn't take it anymore i thought let me hang up my boots and i got into management consulting which gives me a lot of time where i do my management uh, consulting with a lot of companies and i do my videos every day i bring a video to you so hard is working astrologer hard is working professional in the world <laughs> okay so be careful of mars in the 10th house because it may create trouble specifically with your supervisor at at work and some colleague at work may be trying to get your goat and trying to overshadow you and because of which there are arguments in meetings there are disagreements in the 11th house mars can be damaging to elder sibling uh, to you just like mars in the 3rd house can be trouble to the younger sibling in the 11th house it could either be uh, be troublesome to your elder sibling or with society or some network or in social causes you may either be too aggressive or you don't want to be attached to that or it may give you some challenges with somebody in your neighborhood or in your family extended family also there will be some friction there will be some uncle some aunt somebody who you don't like who you just don't get along but this is not because mars is place here because of which it damages so don't get mars placement wrong Uh, in one uh, boy's uh, horoscope, I saw Mars and Ketu together in the eleventh house. So his mother brought his horoscope to me, and I saw his horoscope, and I asked the mother, "That um, is he the eldest?" She said, "Yeah, he is the eldest." And then I asked her, "Did you have one or two miscarriages, be, uh, you know, before he was born?" She said, "Yes, I had two miscarriages." Then she asked me, "How do you know?" Because he was not even born. His horoscope didn't cause the deaths or the miscarriages of the elder siblings, right? if a boy is not even born his horoscope is not there how can he become the trouble for elders so his placements were not trouble did not cause trouble for the elder siblings but when he was born he showed what may have happened to the elder siblings so yeah it is your horoscope placements are not you causing trouble to other people because of which other people are going through a challenge it means that your horoscope is showing you these are the signs in sometimes you have the time to warn them or do something about it in this boy's case there was no warning because by the time he was born the woman already had two miscarriages one of them was on purpose she didn't want to have the child and one was by accident and then this boy comes in why because mars and ketu so mars is aggressiveness 
because of some accident or because of incisiveness which the mother used to not have the first pregnancy and Mars and Ketu. Ketu is a denier and through aggressive means is the denier. So he didn't have elder siblings and every now and then he would also get in trouble. Mars and Ketu in the 11th house so this boy would even, um, get into accident. He would always damage his legs, his calf area and um, you know the ankle area he would almost always damage it something or the some grazes breaks always that happened there rather than to other areas because that area is the calf and the ankle area which is the 11th house. Mars in the 12th house is slightly better than a lot of other placements because this can make you a warrior. This can help you do very well in the armed forces, in um, the police force, it can do very well in foreign lands, it can help you do very well in hospitals and clinics. It can also help you become a very good individual performer. The problem with Mars in the 12th house is many times it makes you expend more than what you have to. Either your energy or your money or your thought process, you either overthink about something or you'll overspend about something or you'll overwork yourself without getting enough remuneration. These three things think about it and please answer in the comment section whether I'm right or not. Secondly, this may give you, you know, disturbed sleep. Sometimes you may fall asleep immediately, sometimes you may not be able to sleep for long periods of time. You may wake up to for long hours. Second, it may give you hidden enemies. The sixth house is your colleagues who are working below you. So more or less you know these people. Twelfth house is you don't even know who those enemies who are acting behind your back. There may be somebody in your organization in some other department who is always complaining against you, who is always scheming against you or somebody in the team who you don't even know about. Okay. So this is the, uh, that what it creates and it also creates you challenges of getting involved with the opposite gender in some trouble. It can create trouble for you, even abusive, aggressive trouble with people of the opposite gender. So be a little careful because sometimes with Mars in the 12th house in a very malefic position, you rush into bed pleasures uh, at bars, at pubs with somebody you meet for the first time later on only to get in trouble with them. So be a little careful with Mars in the 12th house. So friend, this is how Mars in the 12th houses will behave. Uh, even in the best of placements, it will give you some trouble. Uh, in worst of placements, this can be extremely damaging. This is the worst malefic which is um, which is possible. Mars is the worst malefic that even Rahu and Saturn combine, which is a stupid dosha, which is the bad dosha. So be little careful with uh, Mars in any of these houses. Be careful, keep your patience and think twice before you take any decision. Don't rush into it and always seek wise counsel when you are taking a decision related to the house that Mars is. Say for example, if Mars is in the fifth house, take wise counsel before you get into an investment. If Mars is in the seventh house, take wise counsel and think twice before you get married to somebody, before you get into a partnership. So friends, look at what your placement of Mars is and what dignity it is in and if it's in bad dignity, be extra careful. If it is in great placement, then at least be little careful. So friend, like this video, share this video and if you are looking for a personal consultation from me, please reach out to me at the link given below. Until some other time, some other video, this is your friend Astrologer and Guide Irfan signing off. Ciao.